Welcome to the God Farm, your God Farm. This is Al. At the God Farm, you're going to learn the meaning of your life and your destiny with God for eternity. You're going to learn what's been stopping you from the true meaning of life and how to get past those areas onto your forever journey so you can be face to face with God. You are, they are at war against you. They are coming against you. They are going to do whatever they can. They're merciless. They're ruthless. They're killers. They're destroyers. They're thieves. They're going to come against you hard to try to force you to be a useless Christian, to be an inactive Christian. They're going to try to get you to lose or give up your salvation and make you... Their trick is, is to make you think you're still a Christian. That old fake doctrine out there, once saved, always saved. They're going to make you think, yeah, you accepted Jesus as your Savior when you were five and six years old. You're, you're good for the rest of your life. It doesn't matter what you do. You can do whatever you like after that. There's so many people out there that live their lives like that, not knowing that God says they will not inherit the kingdom of God. Not only will they not inherit the kingdom of God, but all through their entire life, they've missed out on the meaning of life. They, their God farm sat empty, desolate, covered in debris, worthless, youth, useless, harvested nothing, grew nothing for the kingdom of God. And they've missed out on the and the true meaning of life for themselves. They've, they've lived, people like that, they've lived their entire lives living in, in a deception, living in a false reality, living in a, in a fake religious world for those that, that resided in a, in a dead religious uh, church system. You got to be, the enemy out there is very crafty. They're very, they know your weaknesses. They know, they know everybody uh, very. They know how to deal with people very well. They know how to um, trick people. They know how to bait you. So the, the, this teaching is called bait that evil spirits use on you. One of the most effective hunting methods in the world which also I've used in hunting, is the use of bait. Bait brings your prey to you or to a trap. Animal hunters use bait to lure bear, deer, wolf, ducks, fish, and rats. Human traffickers use bait to lure women and children into human slavery happens all over the world evil entities use bait to lure people too they're using bait on you right now we can all think of many ways that bait is used to lure people away from salvation such as lust for money uh, sex self-importance self-idolatry false religions um Looking around at the world, we can see that evil spirits are very successful at hunting people with bait. So, how do evil entities hunt Christians? Well, really, it's not hard for them to do that. Um, most people who think and say that they're Christians aren't, aren't considered by God to be his children. They're, these people are trapped in, you know, m many of this is through ignorance and um, trickery and deception. They're not aware of, that they're in a trap. They're trapped in false doctrines. They're trapped in false man-made religions. They're trapped uh, under false leaders. They're living in deliberate sin, in compromise. They're, they live in unforgiveness. They think they're okay. Uh, just in forgiveness, just using that as an example, I, a lot of people I've I've done spiritual warfare with, 
you ask them the one simple question, is there anybody in your life that you haven't forgiven? Almost every single time there is, they give me that look. And usually it's a parent. God, and they, and they haven't forgiven this person. And this is why evil spirits are afflicting them. You, you got to, like Matthew 6, 14 to 15 says, God says, for if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. This is a fact. This is a reality. This is truth. This is God's truth. You can't say, like um, many religious systems will tell you, that God's okay with whatever you do. He's full of love and grace and mercy and it's okay don't worry about that that's that's all yes true god is god does have love grace and mercy but he's very plain in his word there's certain guidelines and certain realities that we have to understand and have to follow we can't live our lives any way we want and think at the end of our life we're just automatically going to roll into heaven because we attended church once in a while. We gave to the church once in a while. Uh, We were nice people, this sort of thing that, that doesn't, that doesn't go along with what God's word tells us. All right. Nothing wrong with being a nice person. Nothing wrong with giving finances and tithing and offering. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying there is, but you have to understand what God's word is not about that. It's what God says. Other things you have to live your life by. You have to live your life by his standards. And you have to understand that evil uh, entities out there are luring people to their doom. They're luring people away from their destiny. They're luring people who have said they're Christians. They're luring them, they're luring them away from their meaning of life. They're luring them away from their inheritance. Evil spirits... They don't, they don't uh, care that much about non-Christians. Those people are already trapped. They're already in, in evil spiritual prisons. Their, their lives are imprisoned. Their minds are imprisoned. They're living these, these sinful lives, thinking everything's fine. Evil spirits, they don't mind if these people are, are out there being successful and making lots of money and, and looking good and... and and everything looks good for them. They they just let those people go because they know those people at the end of their lives they're destroyed. Actually, these people are very good um, role models, evil role models for people because people look at these people like movie stars and sports stars and music stars, saying, "Oh, look how pretty these people are, and they're so happy, and they're so successful, and they make all this money, and they live with it however they want." I want to live like that too. And these kind of evil role models, <clears throat> the evil realm lets these people be successful and let lets these people go uh, living their lives like that because they're, they are evil role models for millions of people, not only adults, but especially children and the youth who want to uh, use these people as models to live by and run their lives by. And so evil realms use these people as bait, as traps to trap people into ruining their lives. These are all death traps. Now, um, some animals are harder to bait and catch than others, such as the wolf is very cautious and difficult to lure in. Whereas, let's say the mouse there is is pretty easy to trick and catch. So, how do evil entities hunt e- eagle Christians? Christians who are on top of their game. Christians who are very cautious. Christians who are, you know, don't fall for the evil religious nonsense and evil religious doctrines and. And they don't, they stay away from sin and they stay away from the wrong people and they're following God's word and they're really 
working with God and following, you know, as much as they can with God's standards and all that, how does the evil realm trap these kinds of Christians? And don't think they don't come after them. They do. The, consider it a challenge, just like big game hunters in the world. They like going after the tough, the tough ones to find, the tough ones that uh, they have to go hunting them at night and they have to they have to hunt them for days on end and track them for a long time before they finally uh, get this animal that's where uh, it becomes very um, satisfying that they've they were extremely successful in bringing down this very hard to capture creature same with evil spirits they are hunting after they want to bring down that uh, that very successful Christian that's bringing many people to God on the internet or in, a, in some mega church somewhere or on television somewhere. They they are going to set that trap. They're going to bait that person to bring that person down. We read about it all the time, where some very excess, successful ministry has been brought down by um, corruption in finances, stealing money. They've been brought down uh, through sexual immorality, through adultery in their marriage or homosexuality or something along those lines. They've been brought down by getting uh, destroyed in drugs or alcohol and their ministries totally collapsed and failed. They're out there hunting this these big game Christians that are out there, that these influencers that influence a lot of people, they don't want these uh, eagle Christians out there influencing others. They so they want to bring these sorts of uh, Christians down. They don't want them operating anymore. Evil entities examine you. They're very good hunters. They find they find out how to bring you down. They'll they'll use uh, the three G's against you, gold, greed, uh, girls or guys. If if that bait doesn't work, they'll use a distraction bait to take you down some false trail uh, of that you've decided. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go this way uh, because uh, oh look, all, all these people down over here need my help. They've asked for my help. I'm going to go off this way. You've decided on your own. That's a distraction trail. May look good, may sound good, but you've you've decided to divert yourself from the Holy Spirit, divert yourself from God's Father's will, and to go off that way. Maybe someone is offering you millions of dollars to, can you come over here and do this? And we're going to develop this big, huge ministry site for you. And you're going to, you're going to accomplish so much over here. And they head off over into that direction because they think, oh, it's an open door. I just got offered millions of dollars. This has got to be from God. No, you have to check with God for everything and see, is this one of the enemy's plots and plans to distract me with bait to waste my time to squander my true destiny. The evil spirits will use your work, they'll use your hobbies, they'll use your family and friends, work associates, to lure you, to delay you, to distract you from your destiny, from God's plans, to help you uh, uh, go off the wrong into the wrong areas of your God farm, of your to lose out on on all your inheritances. They want you to lose out on your on your salvation. That's the that's their ultimate goal. But they'll take destroying your destiny or diverting your destiny, so you become uh, less effective for God's kingdom. They'll use emotional bait to lead you down a dead end trail. Um, they'll. They'll use forms of lust for uh, pl political, social, economic, environmental things and issues that they'll make you think is important. I see. I hear a lot of. I hear a lot of Christian leaders. They get wrapped up in some 
something that's going on in the world, some like uh, the government, the way the government is running things or the way media is talking about something and they'll talk about this endlessly and going on and on and on to because this is so terrible and this has to be fixed and I'm I'm getting involved in this. Uh, this is all some an emotional bait, lure, trap, snare that these that the evil realm is laid out for these people to trap them up into and bind them up into this in prison of thinking that they're going to fix or be involved in these these ills of the world these ills of society that they're going to take on for god and to help these people you got to you, you just can't let your emotions and your your thinking take over uh, from what God has for you. Um, really, a, I guess a rarely detected kind of bait that lures the eagle to a false destiny. It's when they have a personal decision to conduct what they think is great, like a ministry, a battle, intercession, attending a fellowship when they take God's will out of the plans. This is the idol bait where they become self as God. This traps many leaders thinking they're doing right. Be uh, what they've done is decided their own will and not God's. Jesus never did this. He always followed Father's will. Jesus knew that he was our template. He was teaching us. He was operating with the Holy Spirit and operating under Father's will at all times. He said numerous times, I never did my own will. So look at yourself. Look at your life. Look around you to see where traps are. Especially look in the spirit. Look in the spirit in the spiritual realm. Some, some traps traps may be very easy to see and understand, but look in the spiritual realm for any traps, snares, tricks, deceits that are out there. They and and they're they're not going to look terrible. They're not going to look like something that's extremely obvious. They they use bait is used to attract to attract you to a trap. They're not going to use something that stinks or doesn't look good. It's not going to attract. It's not going to attract you. They're going to use things that look attractive and feel attractive and you think is attractive. So be careful of the, anything that pops up that sounds good, looks good. This must be this must be from God. Oh, look, an open door. This must be from God. Uh, because it's so fantastic don't don't ever fall into that trap be very wary out there ask god anything that comes up ask god what is it that you want me to do with this is this from you i've walked i've seen things where it looks fantastic and it looks like it looks like like i one time i was a it was a an angel of light was standing there and I said, oh, look, an, an angel of light. And then the Holy Spirit checked me and said, no, that's not one of us. And I said, and I looked at this angel and I thought, wow, very shiny, very pretty angel. And I said, I said, do you believe that Jesus Christ came in the flesh? Is he, is he your Lord? Is he your Lord? And the angel just poof, gone, flash, and gone, gone instantly. So it's very easy to be deceived. It's very easy to be led off onto a wrong trail so don't get tricked the evil spiritual realm has has got all their troops out there and they're they've got their weapons to come against you and they're they they want to get you so be ready for them reverse it on them come against them trick them trap them snare them bring them in hunt them down Destroy them, trap them, put them in prisons, and reverse the warfare against them. And remember, if you take that bait the evil realm has for you, 
you lose, other lose, others lose, God loses, and we all know who wins when you do that. See you next time. God bless. If you'd like to learn more about these God-inspired teachings, please go to thegodfarm.com and you can partner with us as we become co-creators together with God.